With the education budget being signed back in July, there were some, we're now focused on the start of school and how these funds are going to help each and every student. We turn to 19 News' Mitchell Reif, who spoke with two of the superintendents around the start of this year. As we enter a new year of school, kids are looking forward to studying music, winter break already, or maybe this year's homecoming. As this academic year begins, I was curious to see how some of our schools in the UP are reacting to the pupil increase. A new update in funding means more opportunities for kids and schools as a whole. So the increase in funding that came to schools this year has come uh, in a couple of different um, pots. It's going to go towards paying a lot of the, for a lot of the programs that we've been putting in place. Funding in categories like mental health, at risk, and intervention funding helps students that might be struggling. MAP Superintendent Zach Sedgwick also says they've hired a second district-wide social worker and that there are more opportunities for students to seek out help. We've hired instructional coaches for every building so that uh, we can have essentially somebody that helps uh, helps work with individual and groups of students, works with teachers and administrators to essentially uh, continue improving our instructional practice. And in an effort to boost those students to the next level is the multi-tiered system of support or MTSS. MTSS is an effort to, to look at the whole child and figure out what resources that child needs to be successful. For schools around the UP, the at-risk coordinators are working with teachers and administrators to help students in any way they can. Cody Fletcher, Escanaba superintendent, says the coordinators aid in keeping the education consistent, working with students on an individual one-on-one -on -one and with groups of students who might be struggling. Uh, but our goal there is to keep uh, kids in the classroom as much as possible and to keep instruction as consistent as possible. Even as we work with and help kids who may be struggling with things learn how to cope with them. And Cody says the local law enforcement has access to the entire building, helping to shut down situations quickly. And after everything is said and done, how do we get kids and parents back together again? Mitchell Reif with WZMQ 19 News in Marquette.